intrepid adventurer. Welcome to Beer and Board Games, where we are about to embark on a hero quest. Huzzah! Hero Quest is a board game of adventure where we seek fortune. And the fortune that I'm most interested in right now is a beer. This beer is an adventure. Shiner S'more Chocolate and Marshmallow Ale. Oh. Now hold on a second because Shiner, they've done this kind of thing before sure. and it's been okay. Let's see if they can pull it off again. I'm skeptical. Well, I need something to open this bottle with. Well, I've got something here for you that I think you might enjoy. Yeah. Oh, well. Ooh. Now, uh... Did you find this in a mattress? I did. I okay. found it. Yep, I don't know how you knew that. I really just wanted to continue the lighthouse jokes all year if I can do it. I can see why this made Robert Pattinson abuse himself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this smells really good. Well. Wow. Which makes me fear that it's going to taste terrible. Hmm. Hmm. It's okay. It's a little weird at first, but then it mellows out. I think it's heavy on the marshmallow flavor, yeah. not enough chocolate flavor. It's a real grown-up snack. So Matt, yes. why are we all dressed up? I have no idea. Mm. I didn't see the email until 11.30 this morning. <laughs> I talked to you about it. You even suggested a jokey joke. I honestly thought you were joking. You did? Yes. I thought you were Same. making fun of the dumb Same. ideas you come up with <laughs> for costumes. I'm obviously Arthur Two Sheds Jackson. And I'm the Bishop. Uh, it says Cape Date on your uh, yeah, I know. investments yeah. there, Father. Listen, I put this together pretty quick, and I'm proud of the yeah, results. Yeah, and you're man in jacket. Well, Arthur, I mean, he's, Jackson. Two, and he's considering selling it. <laughs> These costumes are a loving tribute to the dis now deceased for about a month, Terry Jones. And nothing pays tribute to a dead man more than a lack of effort. Hello. <laughs> we'll be right over. Okay, Tony, guide us through Hero Quest. All right, in the game of Hero Quest, you were a party of explorers searching a dungeon for treasure to slay monsters and to defeat the evil sorcerer Zargon. Ooh. You've got the choice of four characters. You've got the barbarian, the elf, the dwarf, and the wizard. Ooh, I want to be the wizard. I am playing the game, but I am uh, in charge of Zargon, the evil sorcerer, and all of his minions. You'll be starting in the room with the staircase. we got to come up with a name? Yes, name your character. I'm a wizard. My name is Geraldo Gomez. <laughs> I am a barbarian. Uh, my name is Blabby Hindquarters. I am an elf. I, my name is BB Leafblower. There are 14 quests in the game of Hero Quest. This is the first quest, the trial. <laughs> you have learned well, my friends. Now has come the time for your first trial. You must enter the catacombs, which contain Felmog's tomb. There you will seek out and destroy Virag, a foul gargoyle who hides within the catacombs. For whom it is that time of the month. Mm, Virag. <laughs> Aaron, you are going to go first. Right. During a player's turn, you can either move and then do an action, as listed on the back of your card, or uh, do an action and then move. Five. Okay, I moved out into the hallway. Line of sight shows you that there is a locked door down the hallway. Well, then I'm going to start marching this way. Do we want to go into this room and see what's in there? Yeah. One, two, three, four. I'm in the room. All right. You Swap it out with an open door. Whoa. Two orcs. Whoa. Whoa. And there seem to be guarding a door to an adjacent room. Oh. Three attack dice. Five and six means you've rolled a white shield, and one means you've rolled a black shield. You have not done him any damage. Whoa! Oh! I am going to cast Ball of Flame. This spell may be cast on any monster. It will inflict two body points of damage. The monster then rolls two red dice. For each five or six roll, the damage is reduced by one point. Five or six, huh? Well, I got a five, uh, but he's only got one body point, so you've successfully killed that orc. <laughs> I've done it. Thanks for killing that orc. I don't know what happened. I was just, I swung my sword. <laughs> I, I got no depth perception. You also seem a little deaf. My, yeah, and my eyes are going. Things have been rough for me as a barbarian. Your barbarian tribe left you on an ice floe to die, and you, somehow you made it out. But I have a hard time seeing because of it. Eleven? That's a lot of movement. Yeah. Well, it's enough to get me up, and I'm going to poke him. Poke him with your short sword. Six All right. Four. One hit in on him. Uh, orc gets to roll his defense. So I rolled a black shield, which means I was able to defend myself from your attack. Fuck this. 
I know. Now the orc it's, is like orking in why, the boys' room. That's why you're getting it. So. Orking in the boys' room. I tell you, I was orking in All right, the boys' room. I get three attack dice uh, to roll at you. Do it silently. While we sing that song, it's too late. It's over. It's wrecked. Mike, I got one hit on you. Why? You're allowed to because I rolled it. You're allowed oh. to roll two defense dice because that's what you've got. Do you two white shields? You successfully defended bing, against bing, the attack. Bing. All right, we're having some fun. Sure. There's a three and a three. There are two. You got him. He's toast. Yes. You did it, Flabberty. I could just see a green blob and I stabbed at it. <laughs> Why are you so blind and deaf? I was raised on an ice flow and it damaged me. <laughs> you were me. raised on an ice flow. Yes. <laughs> just the whole life. <laughs> the whole life. So you're used to seeing this bright white, and now you're inside. It, it blinded me. I, yeah. I didn't have the little slit thing. Yeah. And then I hit my head a lot because I couldn't see, and now I'm partially deaf. Get ready to defend yourself because there's more monsters in that room. You gotta stop walking into rooms. I'm not there's afraid. A horrible Ymir. I'm not afraid and of Ymir. And a cackling goblin. I could kill both of them with one hit if I could just see. You can't see them, you fool. Well, I'll, I know I can hear. No, I can't hear them. Arnold Schwarzenegger should play a vampire. I'm fucking Dracula. I'll go do suck your blood. <laughs> the FolksCon Kickstarter is now live. FolksCon is a real life convention that's happening here in Madison, Wisconsin, August 7th and 8th. And you can go to the Kickstarter campaign and register for that. Come here to Madison and you can hang out with us and it's gonna be a great event. Lots of fun, lots of games. There's gonna be a panel. There's gonna be a live beer and board games and you can participate in all of that. Go to the FolksCon Kickstarter, right now. Special thanks to Sloth Jr., Miss Uke, and Holly for organizing the event. Yeah, what's up, bitches? How you doing, Tiny Dave? I feel good. You know, last time we spoke to your grandfather. Yeah. Has he told you any stories from the past? No, like he blathers a lot, and I don't listen, but... Um, <laughs> That's too bad. Yeah, it's just hard for me to focus when he's talking. Does your grandfather enjoy your tiny wine collection? No, he doesn't like wine. What does he like? What's he only his... drinks bush light. Well, he's so tiny, he doesn't want to drink full strength beer. Right? No, he'll, 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 and he doesn't him. want to gain any weight. Yeah. No, he wants what? to be healthy. Gotta watch those carbs. <laughs> Was he in the war? Probably, yeah, he's one of the greatest of the tiny generation. He'd probably a good spy. I don't know, he could have been a spy. He's tiny. He would have been a good spy, because yeah. he's so tiny. Like Shut pipes, him in a hole. put him in pipes. Put a little mailing tube. I think that's how they got Hitler. They put, they sent uh, him down like a venting tube. And whispered through that Hitler should commit suicide. Yeah. <laughs> what he, is this little voice telling me? This, <laughs> okay. this tiny man is right. Bring me my suicide gun. Please <laughs> save the world, if that's the case. I'm gonna write a song about it, called Hitler Killed Himself Because of My Grandpa. <laughs> Thank you, Tiny Dave. Uh, we will talk to you soon. Yep. Hey, guys, there's a couple things in here. I might need some help. Oh, oh thank dear. goodness. I got a short sword. No defense. So, Mike, that's two poke, hits. Poke. You've killed him. Ha-ha. <laughs> poke, oh, poke, poke. Goblin. He's yeah. cute. He can't hurt me. Forget it. Well, tough, because I'm going to try to hurt you. He looks like Danny DeVito. Number six to it. defend. Well, there you go. That's All right. a defend. Oh, I didn't get it. Uh, take that sword right in the face. Blech. Yes. <laughs> Dead. Don't worry, Geraldo. We got it taken care of. Okay. Hey, guys, I see another door. Wow. This has been quite an adventure we've been on. I can't hear you. What? Eight, nine. Go through. Ten. Oh, oh, man, man, wizard dude. suddenly got a little pep in his step. <laughs> yeah. Old man, man wizard. <laughs> he just keeps stepping. He just <laughs> keeps stepping along. <laughs> No! Oh, two angry, evil, armored warriors. I'm going to cast a spell anyway, because it's fun. Fire of Wrath. I'm going to blast it with flames. I'm going to put that monster on blast. Wait, what's your wizard angry about? Why is he so wrathy? I just want to put him on blast. He's taken one point of damage. He is wounded, but he is still standing. You burnt. Geraldo, do you need help in there? Or do you got this one? Ah! <laughs> I like Christmas. Everyone gets together and gets into fights. I like fights. Is this a real thing? Yes, the He-Man She-Ra Christmas special. You see, um, He-Man's father is King Randor of Eternia, we, but his mother we, we, is we an astronaut. We don't have time. We came <laughs> to Eternia, so He-Man is technically half human, and she introduces him to the concept of Christmas, and He-Man is like, giving? I think I like this. I thought He-Man was Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> it's at this point in the show when we thank our patrons on patreon.com slash beer and board games who have bought us a beer. This is all beer. 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 beer.
Beer. Beer substitute. And we want to thank those people right now, starting with Cheyenne Polrise. Daniel Reimer. Michelle Ledford. Trav. Cheers. 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 See you. I hear the clippity-clop of fancy boots. That's me clippity-clopping. I'm not in a nice mood. Oh, what's wrong, Cookie? I'm mad at Petey. Oh, oh. I told him to take out the garbage. One month later, it's still sitting there festering. Well, it's Valentine's Day. Are you guys going to do anything for Valentine's Day? I asked him, where you going to take me? He said, I forgot. Yeah. That's a shame, Cookie. I'm it's just going to boot Petey in the ass with my fancy boots. Till he does what he's told. Hey, what's up with the boots? I like to step out <laughs> in fancy footwear. Oh, where are you going? Uh, oh. Wee! I'm sorry that things are on the rocks with you and Petey. Do you think you could solve this somehow? Well, maybe if he took me out to a fancy dinner. Where would you like to go? You know. Red Lobster? Yeah. Red Lobster! Oh, come on, Petey. Petey, do the right thing. Take Cookie out for a special dinner. She's been sitting in a house full of garbage for a month. Take baby Cookie out for scrimps and cheddar biscuits. Spring for that lobster mac and cheese. You know baby Cookie's worth it. You have anything to say? Um, good job, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> You're useless. I'm never going to get a dinner at this rate. <laughs> oh. And she seems really down. Well, you know, when you have problems with your lover. Yeah. Lover? Are we saying that? Lover. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how many defense dice do you have? I have two, so I'm going to okay. get hit for sure. You've You're got plenty of I'll be fine, defense. right? You've rolled no defense Great. on that, so you are taking all three points of damage. Ugh. You just make sure you write them down in the little boxes. Yeah, body That's points. The boxes. boxes are for. We're in trouble. Can this we run away? Down to two. You can, yeah. Watch I'll out. take care of them. Everybody run. Get what, uh, what happened? I hit you for two points of damage. What? You gotta mark them on the little boxes. <laughs> on these little boxes? Use your little boxes. Do we use the little mark boxes. Or are they following us? Ooh. Oh, shit. We should have shut the door. Shut the door. Yes, they are following you. Is no there a way we can jump to the final battle? The final battle is in a room that you're immediately adjacent to. It's in fact that center room. Oh, yeah. Right there. Oh. Just if I cast pass through rock, can I just go like that? You may move through as many walls as your dice roll allow. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, there's a door. Where? What? <laughs> I'm in the room. Blow what? some gargoyle. <laughs> oh, Vadrigra. Vagrima. V-Rag. V-Rag, sorry. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to die. What? Yeah, of course you are. <laughs> my turn is over now. Hey, tell us what you see. I'm about to die. From what? Monsters. You can look through the door at him being disemboweled. Oh, I'd like to see that. I'm going to take out some popcorn real quick. <laughs> All right, the gargoyle. One potential hit from the gargoyle, so Matt, roll your defense dice. Fives and sixes. Oops. You're going to take that one. Got to mark it down in the boxes. <laughs> Put it on the, yeah. All right, that is one potential hit. Roll your defense dice. Yeah, you defended it. defended it. Okay, so that's it. You are in a Dungeon Quest Bukaki circle, my friend. Dungeon Quest Bukowski Circle? Yes, the Bukowski yeah. Circle. There's a bluebird in my soul. I blow smoke at him. He's I pour whiskey on him. But he still <laughs> chirps. If only you fill season. I'm doing a pretty good Bukowski. I've heard the <laughs> man is, talk. That is pretty good. That is good. Born is... into this. <laughs> into this sourful deadliness. I think that will only get better with All alcohol. Right. Oh! <laughs> now, I can't move. No, you're completely surrounded. Yeah. I am going to cast the spell Genie. This spell conjures up a genie. In a bottle, baby. Who can use five combat dice to attack any monster within your line of sight. I'm going to attack Big Daddy right here. Three. I got three hits. Okay, roll my five defense dice for the gargoyle. I have blocked none of oh. those three hits. How many ship points he got? Three. <gasps> yeah! yeah! Killed for Gruff! Virag is dead. Genie, you're free. Does uh, that mean we win? You have fulfilled the conditions of the quest. <laughs> Holy Christ! <laughs> Folks, we had a good time tonight. We learned what it was like to take incredible chances whilst adventuring in a dungeon. That stupid thing that I did turned out to be the best thing. Braving every step knowing that behind each corner is ferocious monsters and certain doom. Oh, shut up, Skeletor. Nah! We learned that genies are your friend. That's right. And you know who your friend is? 
your good pals here at Beer and Board Games. You should come and join us next week on Thursday where we're going to play another game. We're going to have new guests and it's going to be a new fun time for all. And we'll see you then. Good night. A ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Didn't know you could do that. I can. <laughs> it's kind of like breakdancing, but not moving. <laughs> you can see my little booty hole from there. <laughs> Jesus. I need to make myself upright. I feel like I need to bless that. Stay away from me, preacher man. That looks like a portal to hell. Yeah, you could say that. Especially on chilly night.